Hello everyone, this is me Satya here and I'm doing your uh, November reading for the sign of Taurus. This is going to be from the 1st of November through the <clears throat> 15th of November 2018. Uh, this is a general reading. It may not and it may resonate with everyone out there, but uh, be mindful of that fact that it is not a personal reading. So just pick whatever resonates and uh, leave the rest. If you want an in-depth um reading for your particular situation you can reach out to me on my email id in the description box um and if you are willing to have my purse um if you are willing to have my daily readings that i do on instagram you can follow me on instagram for that too so before i get into the reading let me explain it to you how the reading is going to be i have pulled out uh three cards from the right away deck uh, one card from the uh, secret language of color cards one card from the uh, romance and record cards i will be taking clarifier if i will need to take from the smith white tarot deck so let's get into the reading what's coming up for taurus people for the first half of the month of november um which has already started and we are already uh, on the 4th of november so yeah let's see uh what's coming up emperor knight of swords hmm and the justice okay hmm with the emperor card here i do pick up the energy of um for those of you who uh, who uh, who was dealing with a person, it could be a male, it could be a female, who was too dominant in their life, uh, I believe something is going to happen. Maybe it would start from a uh, very, um, you know, a small kind of argument, but things will get big and it will get too big to, uh, you know, handle in a way, I would say, because it's, it's going to be... A childish attitude from either one of the two people be that you know the one who is the emperor or be the one who is you know the knight of swords um since it's a general reading i cannot say if this is your energy or the energy coming up from the person that you are dealing with but i do believe that i do pick up that energy very strongly that there is going to be some sort of uh, a fight some sort of um uh, argument started off from something very pity i would say and which would lead to something really huge, something really big, um, which might lead to a court case for some of you. It's an, I know it's not a positive thing, um, but yeah, I do pick up that energy very strongly for some of you. Um, for the other few, I do believe um, uh, if you have been into... Um, if you have been into, you know... Um, different you know if you have been into the struggling phase of your life and it's like you know you never got the courage to stand up for yourself i think now is the time when something is going to happen which will give you the courage and uh something that that you will have to earn it's not something that you will be served in a plate with it's something that you have to work for it's something you might have already worked for but you are going to get where you want to get and um you will be you know uh you will be able to kind of you know um grow yourself mature with the particular situation that you were dealing with and you know you will be getting into the control of your own life something is going to happen something that would not be so positive but yeah that will end up being you know uh being the most beautiful thing that could happen for you uh because that would make you a stronger person a stronger uh um it could it could apply into your love life it could apply into your um work life uh even though i don't pick up love energy strongly over here but um it could be a family matter it could be something um something not to you know um i don't feel uh it could deal you know it could be something that you are dealing with your uh maybe family members uh, but I don't see that happening in your love life. I don't pick up love energy coming from the, these cards. But I do pick up, you know, family affairs or something like that. Uh, I don't pick up, uh, you know, work-related issues too. But I do feel like it's more of uh, um, having issues with the, somebody in the family or, you know, close uh, circuit of uh, the people that you know. And um, 
which would lead to something huge. Uh, for some of you, it could be uh, the in-laws, like, you know, for those of you who are already married, be mindful of that, uh, because that energy is coming very strongly. You might, you know, have an argument with somebody, um, somebody uh, older than you, uh, which would lead to something bad. For the other of you, I do pick up that energy that the argument would start, which would not be so good, but the other person that you are dealing with would make you, would understand that uh, whatever you would say would be so meaningful, would be so important, that would help the person that you are dealing with to, you know, you might, you know, your, your advice, your uh, attitude might give the other person some huge benefit after which you know things will change for you if they have been you know treating you bad things will get better and if um uh yeah i don't know why why this energy is coming for every star out there it's more like you know it's a payback time if you are being the one who is you know the in charge already i think it's time for the other person that you are dealing with um who will be gain, uh, gaining this, you know, strength, this courage to talk about things and be at a place like an emperor. And if for those of you who are already in a place where you are like an emperor and the person that you are dealing with is like this, it's like, you know, either they're going to win the argument with you or either you're going to win the argument with them. It's like, you know, it can go either ways. But whatever it is, um, it is going to start um, with a very small, childish kind of a, you know thing but it would get huge uh, it could go in your way it, or it could go you know against you too so uh, because it's a general reading i cannot you know um i cannot say much about it but yeah i do pick up that energy coming in your relationships somehow like you know your close relationships um since there is no um fem you know feminine energy coming in these cards um so I do believe that uh, it might be, I, I don't know, since it's a general reading, I cannot gender specify it, but I don't pick up female energy coming up strongly here. So I believe the person who is the dominant one is the male figure. And uh, the Knight of Swords can represent somebody uh, feminine, but uh, I do believe the person um, that that is going to be the the one in control would be the male. So yeah. Um, but whatever the thing is, the justice will be served. If if you are the one who is in charge already, and if you are, um, and if you know if um, I don't know why I'm picking up that energy of the emperor coming from somebody else. It's not your energy. I do pick up that this energy is yours. And it's like you are dealing with somebody who is, you know, already in charge. But it could go in a positive way and it could go in a negative way for some of you too. Because um, in a positive way, if you say something, you know, something that would benefit uh, uh, this person or just, you know, anything, you know, in your family that that will you know um, make people praise you for your for your knowledge for your uh for your you know uh for for whatever you know kind of uh, um whatever that you kind of you know um if it was a situation that you helped them to you know uh get through maybe for that they will praise you and they will be like you know you should be given something uh, something as a as a reward to it and as a reward you would you know gain a, a you know a, it's it's something that that will you know help you increase your rank in the um uh in their you know in their mind you would you would have you know if you were there you were now over here so it's that kind of a thing something that will make you um famous in the family something that it's it's not something big i would say but um it's it's going to be this way um but yeah for some of you like i said uh if you pick up a fight um out of something very childish something big or something huge can happen if if uh if you are the one who is uh you know who being childish pick up picked up a fight it it could end up bad for some of you i do pick up with the justice card you might land into something real bad for yourself so be mindful of that. Don't pick up fights during this period of time. Try to keep your um um speak right 
or say something you know thoughtfully like don't don't get into arguments don't uh, react to things too quickly because that could end up uh, you know getting you in trouble or if if you think you are you know uh, getting out something very important uh, to share with them go ahead because that will reward you so be mindful of what you're speaking what you are writing um, be that in your work sphere even though I don't pick up that energy coming in your work sphere but I do pick up it's more of a homely kind of a thing so uh, don't get into any fights because the whatever will happen it can either reward you or it can either you know kind of uh, put you in a very bad situation with the justice card you might end up having a court case with them so don't do that so uh yeah let's see what's coming up for your uh love life though stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance there you go hmm I would take a clarifier for this card just to get the love energies because I don't pick up love energies coming from here. So I would take that for you because I want to see how your love life is going to be because I don't see this coming in your love life. But maybe it could be, you know, if if the same card showed up uh, shows up in this clarifier too. So then it might have to do something with, when it uh, it might have to do something with your love life, though. So let's see. Whatever fight that you're going to pick up, I think you're going to, you know, win it, whatever it would be. But still, I would suggest you not to get into any fight because it's like, it's not good. Um, uh, because it's it's more like you might have to leave something behind because of that. And it's, it's like, uh, you got two of cups, two of pentacles and the five of pentacles. For, for those of you... Um, if, a, if I apply this energy in your love life, um, maybe for some of you, if you're dealing with somebody already in your life and maybe your parents won't agree to that, you know, relationship of yours and they would kind of oppose you. And that's why you will get a little confused and you might have an argument with your parents that, no, I want this person and I want to get married to this person. So try to work things politely rather than kind of, you know, uh, getting stubborn and kind of, you know, giving them the feel that, you know, no, I can do it on my own and stuff like that. Try to keep the balance um, maintained, uh, you know, go for this relationship with um, without, you know, hurting their feelings, without hurting um, their it's, it's more like, you know, be respectful to them because if you don't, uh, you know, stay in that particular, you know, um, just just be in, be nice to uh, whoever this person is in your life because um, if, if, you, if you tell them, oh, no, I want to do this and you don't give a damn to what they are thinking of it, try to convince them, I would say, yeah, that's the better word, uh, that's the better, uh, you know, situation, uh, if you, if you would be able to convince them, because I, I do pick up that energy very strongly, um, whatever you decide, you're going to do that, but the way you would do it would be more, uh, you know, is, is something important, it's something significant, so you could have it, you will have it either ways, um, whether you try to convince them with something positive and sweet, and, uh, or you can, you know, go for it and leaving this person behind, leaving your parents or they leaving their parents. Uh, and it's like, you know, you can work things out in a positive way. So don't go for that, that, uh, you know, try to work things out rather than, you know, trying to just, you know, um, putting out your, uh, your, uh, intention out there and be like, you know, okay, if nobody's, uh, agreeing to it, I will go for it. I would still go for it. Don't do that because that might hurt this person and they might, you know, give something, um, you know, the fuss would be created, I would say, out of nothing. So don't don't get into that. So, um, yeah, I don't pick up that energy very strongly for you. So stay optimistic about your love life. Whatever you want is going to happen. So try to, you know, negotiate with this person and try to work things out rather than pushing things, in a, you know, pushing things into play. Don't do that. So let's see what color uh, card you have. 
Amber, awaken your creativity. So have, have some creative idea to kind of convince them rather than trying to force them or trying to, you know, uh, being, uh, you know, try to be, you know, don't try to be uh, stubborn with them. Try to kind of convince them. Think of some idea, something that would make them feel, um, feel uh, the love that you have for this person. And that's why you want to get married to this person or who, whatever the situation is. But uh, especially if it comes to your love life, I do pick up that energy. If you are having a fight with them for the, for the, uh, for the love of your life, go for it. But uh, try to, you know, have a medium uh, between the two extremes. Like don't, don't get into, you know, um, don't get into, you know, don't spoil things with your anger, I would say. So yeah, don't do that. And uh, go um, choose the midway. Um, for that, you can also wear amber. If, uh, if you are into stones or stuff like that, you can wear amber in your uh, dresses also if you want to do that. Um, because that will enhance your creativity, I would say. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it coming up for you for the first half of November 2018. So um, if you're willing to get a personal reading on this particular situation in your particular life, then do reach me out on my email ID in the description box. Um, and do follow me on Instagram for the daily readings if you don't want to miss them out. So yeah, till I do the next reading for you people. Um, take care and bye-bye. Uh,